and welcome back to the Miss Drea show where I'm your host Miss Drea and here I have with me my one and only beautiful co-host Davia the Wonder Twins and here with us we have these three fine gentlemen mm -hmm. <laughs> one by the name of Jeffrey who is the director of Lies Beneath the Bed mm. here oh, we have oh I'm the I'm the co-director co slash writer writer and your name writer. oh Devin my name is Devin, Devin. I'm sorry I'm sorry and I'm um, I'm Jay. I'm the lead uh, actor, male actor. Okay. I play Brian. Okay. Okay. Brian. Okay. Perfect. So first off, let me ask Jeffrey a question or two. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about yourself since you you know put this whole little thing together with the help of everyone else. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Deerfield, uh, Deerfield Beach. Oh, Deerfield. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I I got into filming when um I did a uh, film in Miami Miami Beach uh, called Plan for Love by Robert Townsend and um, it aired on TV, went to uh, Up TV. Um, it was talked about through Miami down to the whole Florida and it really pushed me, pushed my acting career, but I all started at church. So that's where I really started, I mainly where I started at. Okay, and not too often you hear um, people, you know, you hear a lot of artists or singers say they started in church, but you don't really hear film directors and people say like, I started in church. At least they don't tell you. Maybe they, they kind of wrote the Easter Sunday speeches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or the Black History Month performances at the church, you okay. know. But it, I mean, it says a lot that most people start out at the church. So, you know, yeah. kudos, especially to the black church for um, creating a safe place to, for folks to be able to work out their talent. So that's right. a blessing. Right, 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 right. Right, right, right. So how long have you been co-directing? Oh, actually, this is my first film. Oh, so, okay. and Jeff, my lovely brother, he um decided to give me the opportunity to work with him and wow. um I used to write in school and I told him like you know I'm kind of good at writing so he was like you know why not try to edit the script and like put some more flavor on it and I was like you know what I'm saying it, it just gave it what it was and whatever came to my mind that's what it came out to be okay 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 flavor. and what about you Jay how long have you been acting uh, I did a couple uh couple plays in school, okay. elementary, middle school, but I never did actually uh, really reach into it and dig down into doing it. But, because, you know, singing is my thing. I'm an artist. Okay. And, uh, so you going to sing for us? Uh, yeah, uh, I can do you it. You sound like you have a sweet okay. voice. Right? <laughs> Should so I sing something? This is melodic. Uh, melodic. Uh, melodic. I couldn't get it out. Get give us a little snippet. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm out of breath, save me, baby, I'm in need of your touch, I needed you more lately, and I can't get enough, yeah, I'm out of breath, save me, baby, I'm in need of your touch, I needed you more lately. And I can't get enough of your love, babe. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah <laughs> too much, too much. You're doing too much. Hold on. Oh, no. All right. Y'all gonna have the ladies yeah. tuned in on that. Uh -huh. right oh, man. Okay. That's, that's my whole... My whole thing, like that's what I focus on. Okay, okay, okay. So... What was it that inspired you to, um, you know, actually pursue a career in film, in the film industry? Um, is on? All right. Um, what inspired me was watching um, different films. Um, I used to watch a lot of films. Like, I, when I used to go to church, I, my whole thing when I was coming to high school was to play football. And, but my church pushed me to do acting. And I sat out of time to like learn these plays. And I was like, okay, I can memorize this script. I can know it by hand. So I said, okay, my goal is when I come in, I'm gonna learn it. And when I learned it, you know, they pushed me and they said, okay, one day, you know, you're gonna get a big role. And so I went to audition, audition on like 5,000 kids. They was at Douglas and everybody was talking about it. And then I went there and I beat all the kids. So I was like, maybe this is my passion. Maybe this is something I can do. So I started learning different scripts. I started 
writing. But I want to give a, a, a shout out to the one of the best cameramans in Broward, um, Ked Anderson. Yeah. He, he shot. Yeah. He shot the first. The fir, uh, we have a, a film that's a slave film, and we shot it in um, where we're from, Broward County, and. He did an amazing job on it, the editing and everything. I, what I did was I pushed the film out, and I was a uh, finalist in the Miami Beach Film Festival mm -hmm. this year coming up. So, and the way he shot this film, then we was like, okay, the next film we're coming up, it got to be something thriller like, you know, with a, you know, get everybody attention, have everybody into it. Because a lot of black families, you think of Christmas movies and fun like stuff, but never like, like killing, like drama, have people like thinking like, what's gonna happen next. So we just brought it to life together, all of this, at one time. Okay, 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 okay. Who are some people that you look up to as far as writers or film producers, screenwriters? I look up to, I'll say, I look up to people like um, Robert Townsend, because he was my first director. Mm -hmm. And the, the, way he, the way his path is, the, how humble he was, he didn't go out and change because when, it was a lot of cursing like in the, the script when he first gave it to me. Mm -hmm. And he seen that I'm from church, so he was like, okay, I'll adapt to what you do. So he rewrote the whole script for me, wow. just for me. And he was like, all right, this is all for you. So when I do this, it's not for nobody else. I just want it for you. So it, it showed me that it don't matter how much power you have, you know, you, you see people that that's in the circle, you can change it. Like you, it don't matter because there's people that were saying you can't change the script, it's not right. But he took the time out to change the whole script for me. And that showed me how humble he was because I'm not, I wasn't even known. I was never talked about. Acting was not, never my film thing. So, you know, it showed a lot. So that really, it was one of my biggest writers. Okay, okay, okay. He answered the question I was going to ask about that experience um, with Robert Townsend. And I just think that speaks values that he did change that script. Yeah. in order to honor you as a, a human being, as a person first. And I think, you know, as you being a Christian actor, you know, how do you honor your faith and still honor your craft as an artist? I honor that by just every time I, um, I do a script or I do anything, I always want to put God first. If I change mm -hmm. the script, like... You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell a story. This film yeah. has cussing in it, right? Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know, but I'm talking about but I, and crazy but, and dysfunction. Um, the thing was with me was I was writing a film, and I'm not used to like hearing people like curse like that. Okay. So when I, I kept saying, I kept putting freaking in front of everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then my brother, he changed. It. He like you have to cuss because it's not going to sound right. <laughs> it's like it's not going to sound. Right. I was yeah. like, you know, and then he said it'll catch the audience, and which he's okay. right because some audience they feel like. If they hear a stronger and a powerful more word, it'll make them think like, okay, that's something realistic. I would say. Okay. So I, you know, in my faith wise, like, I just kept like pushing and you know me praying every day and just standing to myself because I knew my time was gonna come and I know like us working hard and I have family members. These are people that I call family mm -hmm. every day. So I looked, I reached out to them first okay. through everything. So yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, Jay, let me ask you a question. Yes, How was it working with Jeffrey? Um, Especially you being the lead, that means you had a lot of pressure. Yeah, very uh, hands-on. Okay. Very um, intense, knowing that um, I'm the total opposite of what my character is. Okay. And having to, you know, having to channel that anger and channel that mysterious like guy that you have to like jump into this thing where you're like throwing around stuff and throwing yourself around and have to having to make this certain face on cue. And making sure that you're like spot on with everything you're doing. So like, and me, this being my first film, that's actually like this type of role, mm -hmm. and everybody eyes is gonna be on you. Even the you know the co the co uh, actors and stuff that are with you, they're looking at you like, hey, you gotta come through so that I can know that I need to follow you with that same type of energy. So he's always like on me in my ear, yeah, Jay, energy, energy, Jay, energy. That's what that's what I'm like. That's what I had to like had to give off. So. It was a lot. It was very intense, but really like hands on. That's how I am. Like if you with me and you're there, and you're sticking with me. and You're like, yo, pushing me and telling me hands on, hands on, or doing this and say, you gotta be there. You gotta be. You gotta stick with it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you what you, what you asked for. Okay. 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 For. Okay. What about you? Like as far as the writing goes, when was there? You know, because he wrote the script, and which means that 
he's an artist. He, you know, that that was his baby. But then for you to give it to someone else, which is very strong of you, because nine times out of ten, artists, people, they don't like necessarily like people critiquing. You know what I'm saying? Erica Badu said it. I'm sensitive about my Right. <laughs> so <All> right. How, <laughs> how was that when you would, you know, bring something back to him and be like, nah, I think you should change that? Like Um, you know, like it was when he first gave me the script. I looked over it. I I read it several times. I read it like ten times, okay. and I was like, "There's stuff in here that's just like it's not it's not adding up." I was like, "Maybe you should put this in there." He was like, "I don't know." I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> do it, bro." I'm like, "I'm telling you, man. People going people going to pay attention to it." And there was like a lot of um, there was a lot of it was like minor errors, like punctuation, you know, like grammatical errors mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, once like I kept reading through it and like organizing everything because like there would be lines that wouldn't add up to the first line so i would have to like reorganize the whole entire script over and over again and i would have to read it from top to bottom i'm like okay this goes here that goes there it it was really stressful for me like writing my first film well co-writing my first film it was very stressful but i mean i got it done and i told him i was going to do it so okay 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 so after seeing the finished body of work if you all have looked at um, the finished product. How do you feel by seeing your vision come to life as a finished product? And what do you anticipate from this launching on Comcast on February 25th on Channel 25? Oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's live. You know, it's live. Um, me watching the finished product, it was very amazing because, like I said, Kid Anderson, his, his like, that, that human being, <laughs> that like he he makes stuff come to life because like I the like this, like I said before the slave film we created it it came to life it made it look it look realistic if you watch it you'll be like wow this is something that people thought was shot somewhere when it was really shot at local parks so I already knew like watching him edit this, how it was going I didn't know he was going to do all these like he did a lot of extra stuff like move it boom it boo boo like it was a lot of shit it was like it like a real thriller like he was gonna watch conjuring or something like that mm-hmm. so he wow. you know it was really intense and i and we sat there like days like days he was tired he was tired we got off work i mean at his house like late nights it was just it was crazy but we had to get it done to. okay yeah okay. i want to know where where can we see this this film this slave narrative like too. where can we see this oh it was <laughs> We uh, aired it. We aired it through YouTube, and then we did Facebook too. That's when we first started. Until I really pushed it, I got into it, and I really pushed it and put it into the film festival. And I was like, because I believed in our film and our yes. work, and I believe that it can go farther. Because you know, a lot of a lot of times you think like things can't go far, but if you put you know your trust in God and mm-hmm. you know you believe in the people that surround you, if they talented, and you see the work that they're doing, mm-hmm. you're gonna always want to push it and go far. And plus, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm in it. I'm like, I might as well push it because, right. you know what I mean, it's something that's with me and then the kid, you know, I never really worked with him, that was my first time. Mm-hmm. So seeing him do that really, like, you know, put me on the edge and then the comments and the phone calls, everybody was just so excited. They wanted to see more. So, yeah, we pushed it more. That's what we did. I'm okay. excited. I want to see it right, right. now. Okay. <laughs> so what would you say um, is one of the most important lessons? Because I feel like in everything that you do, you learn a lesson from it. So what is one of the most important lessons that you learn working with this new cast um in this group of people? Oh this this was a real good cast, man. Like I love my cast, man. Okay. Like it <laughs> like from everybody from Jay to Ashley to Chastity, they all everybody's wanted from Ashley to Shade. The all these people I work with, you know, I met them throughout my life period. And you know, I'm and I told them I was like, I do filming, you know, because I mean, I, what I do is I, I do a lot of auditions and I go out places and you know, people know me, you know, from the um, Marble Townsend movie and I do my resume and and all all this different stuff. But I thought I was like, okay, let me start shooting films in Briar and let me reach out to people that you know want to do something with their mm-hmm. life for more. And then I reached out to Jay. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm like, because at first I had somebody else, but he wasn't like like as serious as I wanted to be. Because when you do your work and your project, mm-hmm. you want serious people minded around you because that means you're going to get the work done. You're mm-hmm. not going to go in the schedule and things like that. But what I learned from this is uh, love, you know, because it was a lot of love. You know, everything that happened through, like, the days, even though people was tired, they wanted to go home, people still showed love to me. They still, they still stayed. 
And, you know, and they really showed me respect, like, and I really appreciated them for mm -hmm. that because they didn't have to come, you know, late at night like that because people had to work in the morning and people was tired, but they came and the dedication and it showed me a lot, showing me that, you know, because some critics say you can't work with people that's your family or people that you know mm -hmm. because they don't take your work as serious, but I feel wow. like they did. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's a blessing. Wow. What about you, Jay? Uh, a big thing that I learned with this is just preparation. Okay. Always be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what you know, obstacle you're going to take on. Mm -hmm. like, like, just speaking on something that happened, like we were ready to film, we were ready to go, everybody's ready. Mm -hmm. And the location that we had f didn't fall through. Okay. So we had to wait. But you have to be prepared in everything that you do, like, because if you don't, then you come and you were shooting, everybody, everybody knows their lines, and then you got somebody who's like, oh, wait, let's do it again, or wait, let's do it. No, you should already be prepared. So... That's what I really learned, like, to always be that person that say, all right, Jay, when you ready, you ready to roll, you ready to go, let's go, let's do it. And let's, let's keep it, you know, more organized that way when he can say action and you can run your line and not say, let's run it again because you didn't know the line, but run it mm -hmm. again because we didn't get that same feeling or that same, you know, take that we got the last time. So, right. yeah. Okay. Preparation. Okay. Preparation. Yeah. Um, like Jeff and Jay said, um, it, it, we didn't really have that many problems. It was just... Once we got organized and we got everything going, like everything just kind of fell into place. Like the cast, the cast was a great cast. Um, mm -hmm. We just had to keep focus because there would be times where like people, they would go off and we're just like, yo, it's like two o'clock in the morning. Like we got to get this done. So like it's, it's, it was really mainly just organization. That was okay. the, the main thing. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm sitting up here, you know, being a Miami native. And in my time, even just meeting a lot of folks from Deerfield, I just want to say my my experiences with folks from Deerfield, you guys are some dynamic people. And every person that I know from Deerfield, like, are just awesome. And I just want to shout out Deerfield, man. Like, y'all got some <laughs> artists, Deerfield, some rappers, yeah. some singers, business yeah. owners that's making a difference in the North Broward yeah. area, Southwest Palm Beach. So I just want to say shout out to Deerfield. I know my friends who are watching me live, y'all know I got nothing but love for Deerfield. And <laughs> Y'all guys want to did several different um, finest sitting up here, and I just want to say kudos yeah. to you, Jeffrey. I hear doing it. I hear about to put Miami on another map for I the know, film I industry. Know. It ain't only popping in ATL. Uh, all right? Uh, so so we got some it. heavy hitters out in South Florida, young heavy hitters, so which means he's going to be around for a long time. So right. look out for Jeffrey. I know. That's right. Let me ask you a question, though, because you said a minute ago that you're always, you know, having casting calls. Um, so how can someone get in touch with you or how do we know when you're having a casting call? Uh, um, I usually like knowing me, I'm very uh, social media active. Okay. So uh, you'll see me post or I talk about it through my Instagram. But I always I have different auditions, but I slowed down a little bit for this film because that was my main focus. And I said, I'm mean, going to do it because I me audition calls and going there and doing the film, it would have been so much for me. So I had to slow down and I had to, you know, prepare for this film and get it done with. So, yeah, that, so you can find me through social media. That's okay. Well, Give us the handles, go, please. Uh -huh. Can we get the handles? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the underscore the motion picture. That's where you can find me at. Okay. Underscore the motion picture. And how can we keep in touch with you guys? Um, you can follow me uh, underscore Devo D E V O drumming. I also play drums too. I, I okay. To throw that out there okay. <laughs> the drummer boy. Uh huh. And you also can follow me at the talented J Allen on um, Instagram. I am underscore J Allen on Twitter. J Allen on Facebook, and I am J Allen on Sound SoundCloud for my music. And be looking out for my new EP that's coming out, The Black Knight, at the end of January. So mm. hoping everybody's watching out for that. Okay, yeah, you know, perfect. We'll check, we'll check that out. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by the show. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. Likewise. And I look forward to seeing the film. Uh, yes. February, February 25th. You know, right. yeah. On what the, channel again? Uh, 25. Comcast. Oh, right. Comcast. Comcast. Right. Got to get that Xfinity yeah, Comcast. Got to get that. Yeah. Got to get that. Yeah. You guys are more than welcome to come back anytime. Whenever you work on your next project and you feel like you're ready to drop it, you're more than welcome to stop yeah, by the show. Our premiere. Our premiere is the is the twenty fourth. Okay. You know, which is a Friday, mm -hmm. and we will be at uh, Studio Five Hundred Four. Okay. You know, a surprise. You know Miami Garden. Uh, well, we throw a surprise out tonight. 
But yeah, we will be there. Um, it's gonna be real big. Is it open to the public? Uh, oh yeah, that. it's open to the public. Yes, okay. yes. You know, okay. So you know, y'all come through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody smiling and cheering and stuff. You know, <laughs> like that type of stuff. What time does it start? Oh, it's gonna start at eight. I'm okay. starting at eight. Is it a red carpet affair? Like you yeah. know, oh, you know, cheap, red you know, I, you know, I, I was thinking you of that. Know. You know what I'm saying? We're but gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have Ashley come through with the podcast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have everything. Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like I said, you guys are more than welcome to stop by anytime, and I appreciate you for coming by. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so much. welcome. Thank you. Please stay tuned to the Mysterious Show. We're gonna take a short break, and when we come back, we're gonna come back with so much more.